cotton is a popular fabric choice among sewists and crafters, and for good reason. With its breathability and wide availability in a huge range of prints and styles, it's no surprise that cotton has had a bit of a renaissance in recent years. In particular, finer cottons like Lawn, Voile, Swiss Dot and Seersucker have become increasingly popular. They are relatively easy to cut, sew and press, yet lightweight, so provide a lovely balance of structure and drape. Cotton is one of the easiest fabrics to work with, but still has its quirks. But with the following tips, you'll be well on your way to sewing some gorgeous cotton clothes. 1. Pick the right project, bearing in mind that cottons can hold their shape but don't have too much structure. They are a great choice for sewing patterns, such as the Marnie blouse with its tucks and ruffles, the maple dress and blouse with its shearing and puffed sleeves, and the Lyra shirt dress to create a neat collar and pretty tears, and our beginner-friendly Jamie pyjama bottoms for a breathable nightwear. 2. Use a brand new 70-10 needle in your sewing machine. This will help avoid holes, snags, puckers, which fine cottons can be prone to. 3. Use fine pins to avoid leaving holes in fabric. We love Merchant & Mills entomology pins. If you don't have any fine pins to hand, as much as you can, try to pin within the seam allowance so any holes end up hidden on the inside of the garment. 4. For the same reason, sew any temporary stitches such as gather stitches or stay stitching within the seam allowance so they don't leave holes later. 5. One of the great things about cotton is how well they press. Use this to your advantage. For example, if you need to mark a notch or a particular point on the fabric, try simply finger pressing. Yep, just fold and press together with your fingers to leave a light mark so you can iron it out later. 6. If your fabric is particularly fine, try shortening the 6th length to around 2.2mm. 7. If your machine has a knob for adjusting the presser foot pressure, turn it up to the higher setting to grip those fine layers together as you sew. 8. To avoid the fabric getting pushed under the needle plate at the start of a seam, hold on to the loose threads at the start of the seam and gently pull them away from you for the first few stitches. 9. If the material you're working with is on the transparent side, you might want to finish the seam allowances with French seams to create a neater finish. Watch our video on how to sew narrow French seams. 10. Some finer cottons have a tendency to fray a fair bit, so keep a small, sharp pair of snips close to hand to trim off loose fibres as you go. We hope these good to know sewing tips come in handy next time you're sewing with fine cotton fabrics. For more helpful sewing tips and tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Happy sewing!